Today, we're enabling the All Seeking Projectiles mod. It's a mod that's been around for years already, but, well, I haven't used the mod in several years, and since that time, Paragons got released, so I think it only makes sense to try out this mod with Paragons, because I, I can see a big opportunity over there, so I've also enabled bosses to challenge the Paragons even more, and double HP mobs on top, because I figure some Paragons specifically will get, like, a really, really big boost just from, like, having this mod enabled, so I guess while we build our way to there, I can also test out, I guess, towers that I maybe didn't try the all-seeking for in the past. Because I think I only covered this mod, like, one or two times total, so definitely uh, several upgrades that I missed out on. And as you see closer here, Dart Monkey also does have seeking darts. You can see the darts whip on by, but I notice sometimes it just, it just keeps going straight forward. But I, I guess it's because it's not full seeking, as in, if balloons aren't close enough or it's, like, the completely wrong angle, then... It just won't seek entirely, like right here, for example. Shooting the opposite direction of where the uh, other balloons are. That's my assumption. Now, if you excuse me, I can go ahead and get my uh, Geraldo NFT this round. While Geraldo is a great hero in general and all, I guess he doesn't really benefit much from the seeking. I'll just go ahead and get a free boat back here, and uh, that should hold 100%. In fact, that's a really good tower, early game tower for seeking, because it really benefits from straight lines and has a lot of here, so... Uh, now that straight lines don't really matter anymore, sky's the limit, you see there. Okay, I see one small downside with the boat, though. It doesn't shoot through both sides automatically, it has to have a balloon on the other side, so... I think we're missing half the power that it could possibly have. Like, there we got two shots, but most of the time it was only getting one damage, one dart, which is pretty weak now. Some shots here are gonna start getting that double shot. Alright, maybe grape shot is the play. Try to see if we can greet out, like, another farm for now, though. Yep, definitely for round 22 here, here, I think is good. So here we go. It will be even better, I guess, once you get long range, because uh, that gives the grapes an extra bit of pierce, which is uh, pretty helpful. Okay, this boss runs a little bit scuffed here because hard more prices, but I can get my Monkeyopolis by selling everything on round 33. This is not intended to be a hardcore sweaty boss run, by the way, but... I think it might unintentionally turn out this way, just due to the sheer difficulty of, I guess, again, hard mode prices, a hard map, and double HP. But again, I'm hoping the Seeking projectiles can help counteract that. So if we're talking about, like, boss damage, I just realized that the Seeking mod doesn't help for most towers in terms of single target. Unless, I guess, the tower's out of range and it's attacking balloons, and then it's Seeking allows it to hit the boss, but that's ideally not the kind of boss damage that I want, so... Uh, I do remember distinctly, uh, attacks are really good. Basically anything that doesn't have any aim. So stuff like Ace 2 that just shoots in a volley of 8. I guess that's probably something i try out. Besides, now that I think about it, attacks may not be that OP against uh, with Seeking, because the boss's hitbox is already big enough that all attacks hit, for the most part, if you have it in the right spot. So I'd say Ace for Tier 1 it is, like ODS. We'll try to see how much of them we can scrounge up. Or maybe if there's money for a Sky Spreader 2. That'd be nice. Doesn't really matter where, what targeting I do now. I'll leave it in Circle. But you can see just how, how good it is. We have Never Miss without even buying Never Miss. The only problem is that most of the damage of ODS comes in the Fighter Plane Missile. But I guess now that we're shooting uh, 16 darts per volley, it might slowly add up. I'll just buy Camo because this one doesn't have Camo. I should... I guess if the... Uh, Darts are majority damage. I think Pickle also benefits it greatly. As with out buff. As with, I guess, plus one damage giver. So how about an Embrunnament 2 to boot? Are we going to beat this with one ODS? Uh, seeing the progress here, definitely not. I'm going to need to go get at least two of them. All right, one more important thing. I got to watch out for the Srams. Do we think Seeking Darts are good enough here? I'll go ahead and get Pierce on one of them. As with another out buff. It's a pretty beefy wave, so I don't know about this, guys. Okay, if I have to Maelstrom every wave, that's not great. I'd say if not for those mob spawns, like, we could probably beat the boss. But we have to deal with them, so let me just... Before I go for one more with an out buff. I'll keep on Maelstrom for now, but I'll definitely get... Something for the balloons later. I just want to get as much mob as possible. Maybe a glue? I'm just kind of curious, though. Do I really need it? Oh, I don't think I need it there. Oh, I should have trusted in the planes. Okay. Never mind. Seeing that, I think we just need more planes. More planes make the world go around. Oh, also, Sharpening Stone, duh. Who doesn't want plus one pierce on every single 
Uh, Darit? It also heavily depends on, like, I guess how the Acer are flying, because... Oh, actually, I should buy Center Path. That's definitely worth it. So these two here should just be seeking the exit. And I should probably sell this in Brittleman too. Can I... What if I sold this Dart Monkey? Can I fit space? Off Coast is kind of tough. At least with the placement I put with my village. Yikes, I'm not really getting a lot. Okay, maybe I'll just get a quick Arctic Wind here. Actually, that might have been a bad idea because my planes can't prop Frozen. That's okay, though. Okay, so the village I gave to my Monkeyopolis. Can I still not place another ace here? Come on. I'm really greedy. That's why I don't want to place another ace outside here. Oh, actually, there's a space over here. Thank you. I don't know if a fourth plane will save us. Especially since the... What do you call it? The Arctic Wind is a little farther back now, so I'm just going to pre-place my, my Blade Trap if that ends up not being good. Oh, that was definitely clutch. Okay, I'll just use a blade trap for the last one then. And a glue for extra measure. I just noticed one thing too, is that the, the blade trap doesn't uh, seek. I guess you could say that took me a surprisingly long time to notice. That would have been really helpful, wouldn't it? But that'll do, that'll do. So not every day you see Operation Dart Storm solo tier 1. Again, a, a, a 2x HP at that. I really have to emphasize the 2, 2x HP because it's, it's pretty tough, especially when you're lacking funds for it. Uh, the early game. Gonna get in my BRF now with uh, one of these. Uh, and I guess we just upgrade to Sky Shredder for tier 2? Or do you think is there something... Something else better than an ace? Well, for now, I think we can just sell it with one of these. So I'll sell the ones that don't have uh, the camo. So we can work on, I suppose, a double BRF. Okay, I just saw something. Might not be as good as Sky Shredder. But definitely benefits well from Seeking. Let me go for a... Top path. I guess this is kind of an ace in a way. Uh, the mini planes coming up from the care flagship should also seek, if I'm not mistaken. Well, actually, I bought grapes on them. Should I? Should I go back to the aerial darts? It actually, kind of doesn't look like they're seeking. Wait, I'm looking carefully. Yeah, hang on, hang on. It's not working. Do sub towers not work or something? Let me just uh, take the L on that and try a four zero zero. In case you guys didn't know, there was a change where. Uh, the mini plane should have darts instead, or grapes, if you cross path. And sadly, nope, they don't seek. Unlucky, unlucky. Well, let me just see what else I could do in the meantime. 600k HP this time. I don't even know if Skyshore is good enough for all this. Look at the DPS there. Only a thousand. Pretty sure I'm mad how DPS is that, doesn't it? If I'm not mistaken, well, either way. Uh, we'll, we'll just have to max buff it, I guess. Actually, in the meantime, let me just test some random stuff. Just to see if it would seek. Because I guess I'm not exactly sure how this mod works, so... Uh, nah, Spike Stream just throws it out everywhere. I don't think the big plane would be of much help either, because those already seek by default. The seeking probably, if I have to assume, just makes the seeking effect stronger. But it doesn't really help us increase in DPS, you know what I mean? Oh, also, we're really banking on Wing Monkey being good enough for... Uh, the 7 BFPs. I really should have gone 501 for the Pierce, but it looks like overclocked. Uh, Skyshore is good enough for that part. Okay, what else? Well, I guess I already tried tank before, but there is no reason I guess I can't do it again. Because if it was fun to show before, then it, it should still be just as fun. Plus, some of you may have not seen, seen it before, but here, here it is. Wait, how come tank isn't... Is it not... I, I see it still shooting in... You know, it's usual pattern. I would have to assume that's because all the darts are already hitting. All the attacks are already hitting. Either way, uh, come on, Wing Monkey. Oh, it's gonna fail us. Yup, it got pierce capped. Oh, looks like I ran to a dead end. Hang on. Oh, you did not do that game. You did not. <laughs> this always annoys me when I play bosses. Sometimes the new round hits right as... Uh, Okay, one more is gonna save us. Right as, like, the round starts again. So retrying last round just puts you into, like, an infinite loop of dead ends. Also, holy crap, I, I really need more damage. Okay. So let's get Call to Arms. And I want to go for a glue Strike. Oh, there's also the Taxi King, but is it too late? Is it too late? Uh, Call to Arms now, by the way. Glue Storm now, too. This should help us against the balloons, for sure. Oh, lovely, lovely. Just to get more range to still shoot. Nah, it's out of range now. Do I Chinook? Or do we think uh, we let the Skytra take the wheel? Holy crap. Wish I could get a homeland, but I think I'll just 
take the hit on the Rejuves instead. Uh, let's see what else could save us in the meantime. Uh, let me do the following. I'm thinking for 2-3. I'm hoping that I have, I have enough money for a Dark Paragon. In theory, doesn't, doesn't it sound like Seeking uh, Dark Paragon would be OP? Because there's so many uh, Juggernaut Balls that miss that I think it could increase single target DPS. And uh, even if I beat this part here, I swear I'm dead to the last go unless uh, there's something I could I could do. We are not going to have time for these BFPs here, are we? Oh my god. <laughs> well, here goes nothing. I have every ability up. I will Maelstrom. We have Super Maelstrom, thankfully. Is it going to spawn it right at the exit, though? Please don't, please don't, please don't, please don't. Please. Okay, I think we did it. Now, that was far too chaotic for my liking. I will beat this now, so I'll just sell. Uh, do I have enough for... Uh, so close to Central Market, or Banana Central. I think I just want to keep this guy shorter, because it could be used, like, the Andrew King could be used for uh, a high degree in my uh, thingy later. Alright, there we go, got it. That moment when you have an OP mod enabled, yet you barely scape, scrape by a boss tier. As I said, Dark Paragon Tier 3. I'm thinking just a makeshift with uh, all, all the Tier 5 should do for a degree 22, I believe, this update. I have also had some people ask before, uh, what is a makeshift Paragon? It's basically a Paragon that I plan to just get for uh, to beat a boss tier and then sell it later. So if you didn't know it before, well, now you know. Okay, just waiting for around 80 to start so that I can sell this one, because this is probably where my Dark Paragon wants to be. I think it has, like, nearly global coverage. Also, one thing I need to pay attention when I get makeshift Paragons is to always upgrade the most expensive one, because then you get more sellback, because the sellback is based on the cost of this plus this. Also, I am 60k short. That's okay. I can sell things. And what things would that be? Uh, one, two, three... And, uh, come on. Blast off. Usually, Dark Paragon can, be, can beat a tier 3. It has 2 million, but what about... What about 4 million? Are you guys seeing the Seeker now? I, th I think I can definitely see it. Because you see, for the most part, the uh, balls are staying on the left side of the screen. Oh, that is definitely... Uh, that is definitely bonkers. It's time for the Dark Paragon to shine. This is performing even better than I thought. Holy. It's basically as if the map was... Uh, the best map ever for a Dark Monkey, a.k.a. Hedge or something. And then Blue Nears is just encapsulated inside a tiny circle with walls all over. Allowing every single ball to hit. I bet a Dark could even could, could solo tier 4 too, but I think... For science reasons, we might try another Paragon. GG, that was by far the... Easiest, uh, run yet. We'll get an Ultra Boost now. Okay, so if not the Dark Paragon, what would it be then? I'm thinking Boomerang is definitely, like, off the table. The thing already seeks. At least it's, you know, Bouncing Glaive Attack. Uh, Ninja also seeks. Engineer, I don't think, has anything special. Single target-wise, it just is pretty linear of how it shoots them, if that makes any sense. Wizard, I think, is only marginally stronger. Because you guys know the Whistler Phoenix, right? Speaking of which, I, I think I'm going to try Wizard, even though it's kind of expensive to get a makeshift for. It's $750,000, by the way. I don't think a lot of damage comes from the uh, Wizard of Phoenix balls, but let me just show you what I mean. This is what I mean. Normally, it shoots under a volley of 8, but now all those Meteor Balls home towards its target. I guess you never know until we try, so we'll, we'll try the Wizard Paragon and see, see how good that is. And if it sucks, then, well, Dark Paragon can bail me out, or maybe the uh, we get the Ace early. Okay, Wizard, I'm going to need you to at least be degree 20. I feel like if I'm going to spend this much on it, maybe I'll just keep it for the last tier, but... I don't know if it's going to really do much against 80 million. Also, it would have been really nice to have the Metamorphosis ready for, it, like, the boss, because that cooldown comes off, like, really damn slow. Oh, well. Here we go. Right on. Again, you can see the, uh, uh its main attacks are seeking towards other balloons, but that's not really the main concern, because we probably would have beaten those balloons, like, either way. I'll get these to accrue pops, too. Here's a Phoenix Explosion. Now we are we truly don't have any any benefit from the Seeking here. I really, really, really don't like this progress, though. Only one Skull now. Uh, also, DDT is holy crap. I'm gonna have to t turn off Drain Beam. And only now have we gotten Metamorphosis. I need to wait for it to max, come on. Alright, 80,000 is good enough. We need to beat those ZMGs on the right side. And now maximum power on Strong. Or it doesn't matter, because remember, it seeks. I'd say it's a sizable chunk of damage, but 
Uh, it's such a long cooldown, again. I don't think it's enough to solo. We do have $300,000, so I think we, we ought to do it. We ought to just get the... Uh, makeshift dart over here. Am I dead? I'm dead. If I... If, if I don't turn off the drain beam. God, this is annoying. Turning off drain beam, turning off drain beam. Alright, Apex Blast Master has got us. Let's go, let's go. Alright, I guess I forgot to mention the boat. But if it works similar to Carrier Flick Ship, then I don't think it would have been a good a good choice to go for. We shouldn't need to take the uh, Wiz Gone off Dream Beam because uh, Dart Monkey is good enough, right? Is it not? Come on. We're gonna die at these GTs, aren't we? Almost. Holy crap. Alright, Metal Force is up again. Go, go, go. Alright, one quarter left. Oh, I'm dead to these. Man, it does not let up, does it? Oh, wait, am I dead? I dead-ended. Watch this, guys. No way. I think the only thing that saved me is a Ledger of the Night. I can't upgrade fast enough. Oh, my God. Uh, I need to sell the wizard. Hang on. Two upgrades. The problem is I don't have the money to buy it, so I, got, I gotta go really quickly. One upgrade off, guys. One upgrade off. Gotta love checkpoints. How unfortunate are we that we always, like... This always happens to us. Uh, how about a time stop? No. Again? Wait. Wait. This definitely gives us time, yes. Time stop for sure. Wait, I don't even think... Wait, no, no, oh, no. Get, get out of this round. The portal didn't even activate because time stop saved us, saved us first time. Although it did activate this time. So maybe that's okay. Okay, so what I needed... Well, I'm dead anyways. Okay, time stop, time stop, time stop. Here's what I need. Balloon Crush and this. Energizer. I must stall, I must stall, I must stall. We're down to the last call, by the way. Uh, let's use Phoenix here. Balloon Crush here to save us. If not... Legend of the Nighttime? Forget, I need a... Ah, so close. <laughs> Retry last round. Yep, I I'm Legend of this. I can't beat it. What can I say, guys? Blue Nears is like the hardest boss of all time. Now it's all in for the ace, I guess. Uh, I'm hoping for at least degree 40. I don't think 60's boss ball. I would need, like, way too much money in sacrificing, which I, I don't have. I guess also might as well use this time to drop some Paragon Totems. I would assume these are more efficient um, uh, cash-wise than using Cash Lighter. I can only assume 28k of Cash Lighter is worth, like, less than 2k power. And time to blast off. No cash lighter because I can use the money on other paragons. And, uh, wow. That's higher than I expected. For, again, no slider. I'm not sure this can solo, but I guess we'll go ahead and play and see how well it does. So, uh, I mean, I think it should, like, be so much better than uh, the ace. As good as, you know, it is already. I'm almost going to go for, I think, two stalls. I don't think Bloom Crush is enough here. But yeah, if I remember it, like, when the ace- if the ace is on top of Lunaris, the damage just goes up immensely. Carbon is probably normal. But now think of it as if the ace was on top of Lunaris every time, because all these missiles that normally don't seek, now will hit Lunaris, so... Uh, one eighth mark here. I think it'll be close. Okay, so I do have money for, uh, I guess, a Bow Paragon. Bow Paragon is good, because it increases the attack speed of uh, our ace here. And ladies and gents, we've passed the one quarter mark. Uh, I guess if we use the uh, middle point off the coast, because it's symmetrical as like a benchmark of half halfway, not looking too great. I guess we'll get both then. And at the same time, we can, hang on. Let me just drop totems to make it maybe degree 20. Let's do it. And at the same time, we can see if the mini plane seek. My assumption is no. But I'll be pleasantly surprised. Only degree 13. It's kind of kind of weak sauce. And okay, if I can see through, you know, all the aces projectiles, because it is, like, blocking the entire screen. I want to say uh, no. Again, it's hard for me to tell because I'm old and I can't see. Half kidding. I actually don't wear glasses, FYI. Apparently my vision's pretty good. Especially considering what I do and that I uh, basically scare, stare at a screen all day. Um, if those f are getting that far... Okay. There's no more money. I have to sell my boat if I want to go for it. 
Do we do our emergency dart monkey? I think I think we can. I'll use the money from Ultra Boost and this BRF here. I need to get this, by the way. Yep, two skulls left. I think we need help. Hopefully, Dart Monkey can save us quickly. Oh, crap. Do I not have the money? Sal? Sal? Got it? I can't imagine how close the last skull is going to be if uh, that was the second last. Okay, so I'm going to save my Curve Bomb, I guess, for those bads. And I guess I can use the hook in, but it only works on one bad. Here we go. Do we need Legend of Knight for this? All right, Carbomb now. Hook one in. Carbomb. Wow. Somehow we leaked, but we didn't leak enough to die. Never tell me the odds of that. So one million left, and there it is. A double HP Plunaris has been beaten, but we definitely needed a little bit of help there. GG. Ace ending off at a whopping 90 million pops. I guess not too surprising considering we had to do 80 million damage in the last year. Uh, only 8 million on our boat. 2.5 million in the short time we had the Dark Monkey. And GG, if you think there is another tower that would go well to seek the mod that I missed, then let me know. Otherwise, click here for more mod videos, and I will see you later.